Good morning, guys. Bill McMillan here. Happy College Football Saturday to everybody out there. And we've got a cold weekend on tap with just a more wintry-like feel as opposed to autumn this weekend. And really that continues into next week as well with reinforcing cold air moving in here on Monday, setting up a very chilly Halloween. But we'll talk about today's weather right now and lots of clouds will continue to wrap around an area of low pressure that's heading off to the north. Also, we're going to keep an eye on a developing east coast storm system here that will really begin to wreak havoc across the uh, coastal areas and into the New England region as we go into the latter portion of the weekend and early next week. Temperatures, as mentioned, very cold, much colder than normal, 12 degrees below normal this hour in Indianapolis as we record this video at the 9 o'clock hour. And just notice the extent of the cold all the way into southern Texas this morning with a more wintry-like feel as opposed to autumn. Most of today will be dry, but we will notice at times scattered light showers that will be mixed with sleet and snow with the colder air, a raw, blustery day. The shower activity will really uh, begin to increase, and this is nuisance type level uh, showers, so nothing that's going to produce any sort of significant accumulation, but nonetheless, uh, don't be surprised if you see mixed rain and snow out there at times this afternoon into the early evening hours before this begins to diminish. And then we turn our attention to the first freeze of the season for most of us as overnight lows tonight dip into the uh, upper 20s to lower 30s across most of central Indiana. If we can uh, clear things out, uh, upper 20s are more likely if we keep the cloud cover around. Around freezing is more of a, uh, a better bet for overnight lows tonight. And as mentioned, as we look ahead, we'll um, back this up just a little bit for you. And this is the GFS forecast model showing that reinforcing chilly air with northwest winds blowing late Monday into Halloween. And uh, temperatures, for the most part, as far as uh, trick-or-treating goes, Tuesday evening appear to be in that uh, upper 30 uh, degree range to lower 40s with a blustery northwesterly wind. It should be dry, though, for trick-or-treating. Just bundle up. As we move forward, an unseasonably cool pattern will continue. A weak weather maker will arrive in here with the potential of um, a little light rain, maybe a wet snowflake across northern portions of the region on Wednesday. But this is not going to be a big weather maker at all. Uh, unsettled conditions continue late next week with showers around and, and slightly warmer conditions, though still below average. And speaking of that, even if we look out at the three to seven day uh, temperature anomaly, still a cooler than normal pattern, there are hints and indications still within the models that we begin to modify this as we go deeper into November. The longevity of that, though, is certainly in question given what we've seen uh, with the recurving um, tropical feature out in the Pacific, along with favorable MJO phases that would produce a more of a a widespread chill across our portion of the country as well as we go into the second half of November. So more to come on the long range as we uh, go deeper into the weekend. In the meantime, guys, make it a great Saturday. Thank you as always for logging on to NDWX.com. We'll talk with you soon.